What's up, everybody? This is Dark Mesa with Brutally Delicious, coming at you with a review of Excalion's brand new album, Once Upon a Time. So here's another band I'm going in cold. I had never even heard the name, although on first sight, I thought this band is definitely some bitchin' symphonic or power metal band. It's just too close to Excalibur not to be. Interestingly enough, so I would put this band in the power metal genre, but it's not typical. They definitely do not sound like Rhapsody or Dragon Force, and no one sounds like Blind Guardian except for Savage Circus. They sound more like a slightly more optimistic speed metal with some keyboards. This is closer to the genre known as U.S. power metal. I was reminded of Jag Panzer quite a bit. More Casting the Stones era than Ample Destruction, but still, Jag Panzer. There's not as much double bass drumming as any of the examples that I brought up earlier. Still, though, their vocalist is really good, and that's kind of a shoe in for the power metal genre. So, let's get into some songs. Soulbound was the single, and I gotta say, what a great song. Really good vocals on the chorus without just range masturbation or relying on standard chord progressions. This guitar player, or guitar players, they're actually playing riffs. It's commonplace in power metal to pick a well known chord progression, say the 1 5 6 4 found in Don't Stop Believing. Or, you know, everyone knows that Axis of Awesome four chord song. Basically, to pick that and then just tremolo pick the root notes so it sounds happy but also energetic. This band is avoiding that cliche. Oddly enough, I'm sometimes reminded of the band Pagan's Mind. Excalion is not as progressive, and I barely know Pagan's Mind, but there was definitely some kind of connection that I drew in my brain. Leave a comment if you think I'm totally nuts. Now, onto the song Words Cannot Heal. This is a more typical power metal chorus, more wonderfully optimistic. It sounds like they're singing about self-worth without sounding like the band Fellowship. No disrespect, I love them. I've often asked myself why power metal was not a more popular thing. If you ask someone who's not into metal what it sounds like, they'd probably conjure up what Cannibal Corpse sounds like to most of us. Atonal, guttural vocals, and almost comically ugly in a way. Power Metal usually has a pretty good-looking singer with long, gorgeous locks, and the dude can sing like a bird. This song, sorry for being long-winded, struck me as a good bridge in that it's heavy enough for people that are into Slayer, you know, there are actual riffs here, but also accessible enough for non-metal fans. Seriously, someone should make a compilation of metal to get non-metal heads into metal and put this song and then, like, Twilight Force on it. Rant over onto more songs. Amuse me. This is kind of an ill-fitting title. It almost sounds like a good metal song to put on at a Halloween party. It's spooky in the best way possible. The guitar solo quotes, I don't even know what to call it, just that classic circus theme. While not the first, I believe this is in Weapons of Mass Destruction by Gene Simmons. I'm definitely forgetting another big one. It really added to the song. I Am I. This was a great song, like absolutely loved it. And again, it's more typical power metal. Great sound, great drumming without showing off. It really just works for the song. And believe it or not, it's not a Queensryche cover. I also want to bring up the song Eternals. It's a good slower song that eventually gets heavy. The first half kind of reminded me of the Eldar by Blind Guardian and the vibe. So here's a band. I know I say this a lot, but I have to go down their Spotify now because they got me. It's really fun to find a power metal band that is not just paint by numbers. My two favorite styles of music are power metal and traditional metal, and this might be the best band I've ever heard at blending the two. So, rock on, dudes. Who out there? Yes, we're out there, everyone. I'm Hal Schwartz. And I'm Flynn McClain. Together we host None But the Brave, a podcast dedicated to the music and career of Bruce Springsteen. Bruce and E Street Band are on tour right now for the first time in six years, and we're taking a detailed look at what's happening on stage in our bi-weekly episodes. We've also been recently joined by some very exciting guests, including rock journalist Warren Zanes and Stephen Hyden, Backstreet's Magazine founder Charles Cross, and Barstool's Kirk Menahan. If you're a diehard Springsteen fan, this is the show for you. So please subscribe to Nimbut the Brave on your favorite podcasting platform, and we hope to see you further on up the road. Thank you so much! We'll be seeing you! <laughs> 